ready to do a review? Yeah, he is. Yeah, you are. I love you. You know you have like thousands, okay, maybe like 500 adoring fans that love you. And I'm pretty sure they just come to my channel to watch you. <gasps> Say hello. Okay, I'm going to try and review this product now. <laughs> hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This is one of my favorite newer palettes that has been released this year. And I am also going to show you how to do the eye look that I'm wearing today. So if you like the eye look and you want to know how to do it, just wait to the end of this video and you can see exactly how I did it. I do it step by step. I tell you what brushes I use, so on and so forth. If you don't like this, I look and you don't want to learn how to do it, you can just watch the review and then just stop watching. It's okay. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. As I mentioned before, the packaging is very nice. It is similar to the chocolate bar packaging as in it's a metal exterior with a magnetic closure. The coloring is different. It's kind of a peach pink ombre color with a little peach in the corner here. There is a nice mirror in the palette. It's got a cute little thing here that says sweet peach with the adorable little peach mascot that they've got going on. There are 18 shades total in this palette. Unlike the chocolate bar palette or the PB&J palette that smell like chocolate or peanut butter, this palette smells like peaches and it really does. It smells really, really good. Peach is one of my favorite smells. I've never actually eaten a peach because I think that it's weird that they're fuzzy and you eat their fuzzy skin. And I know I should try it, but I'm a texture weirdo where if something has a weird texture, I don't eat it. Should I try peaches? Let me know if they're life changing, but I like peach flavored things. So this scent is a winner with me. It smells amazing. I purchased my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette off of the Too Faced website, but they have sold out. In fact, everywhere that I have looked is sold out of this product right now. It was available on Ulta's website, it was available on Sephora's website, and it was available on the Home Shopping Network website, but all three of these are sold out. Too Faced is also sold out, and when I purchased mine, it sold out in about an hour, which is insane. And that was a restock. And they said after that restock that they were not going to stock it again on the Too Faced website. That being said, there is a little section on their website under where it says sold out that says notify me on restock and you can put your email. So I'm not sure if they are actually gonna restock it. It doesn't say anywhere on their website if they are or not. But as for Sephora and Ulta, they are currently sold out on the website. Not sure exactly if they've already been selling it in stores or if they're going to sell it in stores, but I am pretty sure that this product will be restocked. When it does restock, this palette retails for $49. I do think that that is a very good value. You get 18 shades, which are all absolutely gorgeous in my personal opinion. I have read a lot of comments about this palette where people are saying, I'm not gonna buy that palette. It looks like my grandmother's couch. I don't see that at all. I live in Florida, okay? And I used to live in Daytona Beach on Beachside where people use pastels all the freaking time in their decorating. And I don't see that in this palette at all. I think that this is a very dynamic palette. It has the capability of doing a ton of looks. You have a lot of really nice purples in here, a lot of really nice pinks, and you have a lot of neutrals. So you can make so many looks with this. These shadows are very pigmented. They are very buttery. They are easy to blend. I really don't have anything bad to say about this palette. Here is the world's worst swatches for you. I am not gonna go through every single shade individually. There are 18 shades in this palette, and quite frankly, they look so much better on the eye than they do swatched on the hand. It is an absolutely gorgeous palette. Like I said, every single color in here is pigmented, blendable, goes on smoothly and they are soft and buttery but they're not so soft and buttery that they don't stick to the eye. I've noticed a lot of especially high-end shadows they are so buttery that you put them on your eye and you blend them out and they kind of blend out into nothing or they're gone within 
just a couple of hours. These are very long lasting on the lid and they are buttery, but they don't kind of blend away into nothing. In my opinion, this is the perfect palette. I love how versatile it is. For $49, 18 shadows, that's a really good deal, especially since they are so high quality. So yes, it is gonna cost you $49 and you are gonna have to wait until it's restocked, but I 100% do think that it is worth your money and I do not think that it looks like a grandmother's couch. I think that it is absolutely beautiful. If you would like to see how I got this eye look I am wearing right now, just keep on watching and I'll show you. <laughs> okay guys, obviously this is a tutorial of the Sweet Peach Palette from Too Faced Cosmetics. First, I'm just priming my eyes with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer in the shade Fair. Then I'm taking the shade Peaches and Cream with my Morphe E27 and just setting that all over the eye. Then I'm taking Georgia on my E27 brush again and just placing that all around my crease, above it, below it, just as my transition shade. Then I'm gonna take the shade White Peach on my Morphe M15 and just highlight my brow bone with that color. Next I'm gonna take the shade Puree on my Morphe M511 and I'm just gonna put that on top of my crease, definitely above my crease, and then I'm gonna take Charmed, I'm sure, and being a little bit more careful with an Urban Decay Flat Definer, I'm going above my crease. I have really hooded eyes, so I definitely want to put it above my crease to make my eyes look bigger. Then I'm going to take the shade Georgia on my M514 and just kind of blend out any harsh lines above my crease. Next, I'm going to go in with the NYX Eyeshadow Base in White and my Urban Decay Double Blended Flat Definer from my Naked 3 palette. I'm just going to put this all over the lid and really cut out that crease. Next I'm taking the shade Luscious and my Urban Decay Flat Definer again, the same side, and I'm going to place the shade Luscious all over my lid. I'm not exactly happy with the color payoff that I get from this, so I go back over it with my fingers so I can get a little bit more shine. Next I am flipping over that same Urban Decay Double Ended Brush and I'm going to go in with Puree and just kind of tightly put that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take Georgia and I'm going to take my M14 and blend that out so it's not so harsh. Then I'm going to take the shade Nectar from the palette and I'm going to highlight my inner corner and again my brow bone. I just wanted it to be a little bit more shiny and I'm going to blend that out so it doesn't look well, stupid to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to take my NYX Trejoli liner and I'm going to very tightly line my top lids. You have to do this if you have hooded eyes or else it's just going to take up your whole eyelid. So I try to get as close to the lash line as possible. And then I'm just making a little bit of a wing with this. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're not going to cut people if you don't use a gel liner or liquid liner, but I still think that it looks nice and soft. I also went ahead and lined my waterline and now I'm just going in with the Tarte Gifted Mascara. I really think that this mascara is underrated. And here is the finished eye look. I really hope that you like this look and I really thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Love you. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed that little tutorial on how to get this eye look today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos each week, and be sure to share this video on Facebook or with any of your friends that you think would be interested in the Sweet Peach palette. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, just beautyobsessedrn, and comment me below. I love to hear from you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!